Nvidia might be producing a cheaper RTX 3080. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So Video Cards recently shared a tweet over on their website by Twitter user Copite7Kimi regarding a possible third GPU based off the GA102 die found in the RTX 3090 and RTX 3080 graphics cards, which by the way, if you want to read the full article and tweet, links to both these sources will be in the description below. But in any case, I want to go ahead and read you a little piece of their article and then give you my thoughts on it. So on their website, Video Cards had this to say, quote, the third variant of Nvidia Ampere GA102 has received a board number and SKU number, according to Copite 7 Kimi. It is alleged that the new graphics card would fill the gap between the GeForce RTX 3080 and RTX 3070 models, both based on different GPUs. The name of the graphics card has not been revealed, but we're working on it. However, it is expected that the graphics card would be called the RTX 3070 Ti. And by the way, if you're wondering, Copite 7 Kimi isn't just some random guy over on Twitter. He does have a history of sharing a whole lot of different leaks, so it is a little bit more credible than just some random guy in a forum. But in any case, if we go ahead and we take a look here at the little chart that video cards showed, they think that the supposed RTX 3070 Ti is going to ship with these specs. So it's apparently going to be based off of the same GA102 like I mentioned earlier that the RTX 3090 and 3080 are based off of so that's that same 628 square millimeter die with 28.3 billion transistors though not all of them will be active as it will only have 7,424 CUDA cores as opposed to the 8,704 found on the 3080 and the 10,496 found on the 3090 and that puts it at about 70% of the full die, whereas the 3080 is 81%, and the 3090 is 98% of the full die. And then as for tensor cores, it should have 232, which is a little bit less than the RTX 3080 coming in at 272, 58 RT cores, which is again, a little bit less than what you can find on the 3080, which has 68. They don't know the base and boost clocks, which will probably be very similar to the RTX 3080, especially if it has a similar power limit. But in any case, it's apparently gonna have the same 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X, as the RTX 3080. We don't know exactly how fast it'll be running, probably somewhere between 18 and 19 gigabits per second on a 320 bit bus. And again, it has apparently a 320 watt thermal design. So it's gonna be another hot power hungry boy. So all those specs sound really interesting, but you might be asking yourself at this point, why would Nvidia base a third GPU off of the GA102 die? It just seems like a whole lot. And you're right, at first glance, you know, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. And I talked about this a little bit on the Techonomics podcast, which will be going live tomorrow afternoon. So be sure to tune into that if you want to see me talk about this even a little bit more. But you know, I felt like this subject deserved its own video. So, you know, the reason why I think overall that they're going to make a third GPU has to do completely with AMD. So had these leaked benchmarks not come along showing what is apparently an RX 6800 XT beating an RTX 3080 in DirectX 11. Well, you know what I'd say it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for Nvidia to release a 3070 Ti based off of the GA102 and a 16 gigabyte RTX 3070 probably would have sufficed. But if you've been keeping up with the rumors and leaks, you'll see that, you know, recently, apparently the RTX 3070 16 gigabyte variant and the RTX 3080 20 gigabyte variant had been canceled. And that I think personally was likely to do with AMD as well as I don't think a 16 gigabyte RTX 3070 really would have performed all that much better, nor would a 20 gigabyte RTX 3080, which would have just basically made those GPUs more expensive and less less competitive with the 16 gigabyte variants coming out from AMD, which if they are going to be beating, you know, NVIDIA's RTX 3070 and RTX 3080 at roughly the same price point, well, NVIDIA's got to release something between those two cards, and that would be an RTX 3070 Ti. And you know what? They might have some extra salvage dies that they can use out of the GA102 die to get a slightly more cut down RTX 3080 to compete with an RX 6800 XT. So if a RX 6800 or 6800 XT, whichever it ends up being ends up being just a little bit slower than an RTX 3080 and it comes in at a cheaper price well then that's going to put Nvidia in a tough spot because they'll be competing with an RTX 3070 versus with 8 gigabytes versus an RX 6800 XT with 16 gigabytes whereas it might only be like $50 more for AMD's card but it might be significantly faster and have double the VRAM which makes Nvidia look bad and yet at the same time if it's say $50 to $100 cheaper than the RTX 3080 but it's nearly as fast that once again Again, makes Nvidia look bad. So they need a GPU between those two. And we you know what would fill that perfectly? 
a cut down RTX 3080 and there's really nothing stopping them from do it. There's a perfect spot to slot it in there because the RTX 3070 comes in at $500 and the 3080 comes in at $700. So there's just a perfect slot right there where they could put a $600 RTX 3070 Ti in with 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X and that would compete much, much better versus an RX 6800 or 6800 XT that's just a little bit slower than an RTX 3080, but probably quite a bit cheaper. So that's to me why I'm thinking that they're probably going to be slotting in this 3070 Ti based off of the same GA102. And it kind of starts to make sense when you think about it this way. And on top of that, you know what? While we're talking about NVIDIA reacting to AMD, I also want to mention the fact that there's probably going to be an RTX 3080 Ti based off of the RTX 3090 die as well. However, this time it'll probably have nearly the identical amount of shaders, if not the exact same amount of shaders on the 3090, but with just half the VRAM. Because let's say AMD comes in and okay nvidia counters them counters the rx 6800 with the 3070 ti well then you ha still have to worry about a 6900 xt which could be actually just as fast if not faster than an rtx 3090 if everything goes right which puts nvidia in a really bad spot because if amd launches that card at say somewhere between 800 and a thousand dollars well it's going to make the 3090 look silly because they'll have an 800 to a thousand dollar card competing with a 1500 dollar card and they'll both be giving you very similar levels of performance, or at least that's kind of where I'm thinking things are going to land. So NVIDIA is going to have to take that 3090, cut the VRAM in half, and drop it in probably somewhere between $1,000 to $1,200 max to be able to have any sort of competition with the RX 6900 XT, or at least that's just what I think NVIDIA is going to end up doing. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about these RTX 3070 Ti rumors? Do you think that it's true? And if so, do you think it's going to be fast enough to compete with a 6800 or 6800 XT from AMD? I'd love to see what you have to say in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.